every seller has a story. I'm Georgia Mampanis, and welcome to our second installment of the eBay Seller Spotlight Podcast, where each month we shine the spotlight on a seller with a story to share with us. Our guest this episode is well known on social media as a seller whose passion is the hustle. The seller works and never stops. That kind of hustle. He's known on eBay as Simply B and the Hustle B on social media. Welcome, Ken Gaetano. Hi, Georgia. Thanks for having me. So tell us about yourself. Tell us about your business, what you sell, and when did you start selling? I'm an eBay seller, eBay store Simply B, and also known as Just B or The Hustle B on Instagram and some other social media platforms. But we have documented our story in Instagram. So I think that's one of the things that was very cool. Accidentally happened. We've been selling on eBay since 2017. It's on our fifth year now. We sell sporting goods and now we specialize in sneakers. We're here at the eBay headquarters in San Jose and Ken, you came in here and everyone just gravitated towards you. Everyone knows you in the community. We did a seller spotlight on you where, you know, you highlighted your involvement in the community. How did you first get involved? I have been involved by just trying to learn from other sellers first. And I felt that a lot of their stories and their tips and tricks helped me a lot. I wouldn't be the seller I am today without those people ahead of me. That saying, I am great because I stand on the shoulder of giants. I've always looked up to sellers that have gone before me that have done a lot more stuff. And now that I have documented a journey, I felt like I have something else to share. I have other things that other people could benefit. It may be because of my background, of my specialty, and For me, it's like I've always been very, I would say a people person. I love talking to people. I love sharing stories. I love hearing stories. I think that's how it started. And then when opportunities came, when eBay approached me, hey, you want to share your story? I was like, yes, I love it. I want to be part of this thing because I want to be that person that would be able to help other sellers excel and be successful in their journey as well. That's kind of like why I want to be involved and that's how I got involved. Yeah. What is one thing you would say you owe the community? If you had to pick one thing, what would be the number one thing? I would say having that abundance mindset, sellers that were willing to share what worked for them. Because a lot of times, you know, different industries, that's what they call gatekeeping. You know, like some people would share the secrets of the industry. And I'm not here to say like I tell everything but i think i tell enough i tell a lot to get people to the next level so that's one of the things like having that abundance uh mindset that share share what's worked for you and it's okay to share what is one common myth about selling on ebay that you want to debunk that there's a giant ebay switch that turn on and off your store to be honest, I actually wanted to build a giant switch. And like my first time here, I think I asked certain people and then I think we asked Griff this question, like, where's that hidden giant switch? So, I mean, so far I haven't found it. I've been here a, few, a couple of days now and it's not a thing. The eBay switch is your work ethic. <laughs> so when you turn your work ethic on and you actually work hard and grind and hustle, that is the switch. So whenever it's on, eBay's good. But when the grind is off and your work ethic is off, your eBay store is going to be dead. <laughs> Hustle. Keep the switch on. Okay, so as soon as you and your wife both walked in, you had the best pair of sneakers on. I'm curious, how do you stay on top of what's trending? I mentioned a pair of shoes that I wanted and you're like, yeah, Georgia, good luck finding that. But if I'll find that, I'll let you know. So yeah, tell me. Big part of it is social media and keeping up with the trends. We live in a social media world right now where things are being shared there. The word trending, right? In Twitter space, certain tweets get trending. On Instagram, certain posts go trending. It could go the viral days, right? The TikTok app, the TikTok video that goes viral. A lot of what I do with social media is not just give out information, but also take in information. So that's how I learn and see like who's the artist that's rocking this Jordans? Who's that artist that's rocking the next collaboration? One of the latest sneakers that have been very hot are the Travis Scott and Jordan collab. And if you're not paying attention to social media, if you're not paying attention to trends, you could be left out easily. So I think that's one of the things that business people 
or sellers have to understand that it's not just posting something, it's actually consuming something from social media as well. Mm -hmm. You know what to source, but how do you figure out how to price things? Thank you, eBay, for some seller tools. We have this thing called sold and completed items. This is a toggle switch. There is a switch, a switch for selling items and learning how much they sold for. Just to walk through it real quick, right? You type in Air Jordan 1 Black Cement 3, and it's a Jordan 3 that came out multiple times already. So what you would do is you see all the listings that's available for sale. Now on the filter tab, if you click the filter tab, you go down to the side and there is a sold listings and completed items. Click that one and it would show you a 90 day history of how much this shoes has sold for. That is, I think, is the most underrated tool that people don't use a lot. But for me, with how I help scale this business or what has helped me scale this business is understanding what this item has sold for. Because the last thing I want to do is undersell the product and miss out on profit. If this shoe is trending, then obviously people are trying to buy this at this X amount of price. I think that's the biggest tool that everybody needs to know with how to determine pricing. Where did your passion for shoes stem from? What does your closet look like? How many pairs of shoes do you own? Before I liquidated a bunch of them to, you know, help me start the business, I had 150 pairs at one point. I had a sneaker room. That was only because when I, you know, before going full time on eBay, I had a job. Um, Now I was able to buy pairs that I couldn't buy growing up. Growing up, my parents just really instilled education and I'm very grateful for that. They never really pushed me so much to just getting good grades, but they made me realize that there is a lot to learn, boy, (laughs) growing up when I knew everything, right? So they made me realize that and they found something that motivated me. I was playing basketball for our school in high school, and then my parents saw that I cared for shoes. Like I wanted some good looking shoes. I want some trending shoes. My mom and dad told me, it's like, hey, son, if you get straight A's every grading period, you get a brand new pair of sneakers. What was your first pair? It was Flight Posset by Kevin Garnett. And the only reason why I got that, because it was on sale. Okay. (laughs) And, you know, growing up, we didn't have much, but my parents tried to get me the best. What happened is I was the straight A student that played basketball that had cool shoes. I think it worked out perfectly. And my mom actually bought me a poster sign. It says, we'll work for shoes. Because everything she wanted me to do, it wasn't about like, hey, I'll buy you this. I'll get you a toy. Like, it's like, hey, can do this. And if it's done well, if it's excellent, that was her term. If you did it excellently, if you've done it your best, you get a pair of sneakers. Oh, wow. Does she still do that today? Not anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. So I, I do it to her now. Oh, I love that. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it started. Yeah. I want to end this interview off with a little inspiration. So what's one of the most important lessons you've learned in life, thanks to obviously your family or your business as well? I would say overcoming failure. That's the biggest thing that business has taught me that it's not always a win. Sometimes we get too conditioned that you always have to strive to win. And there's nothing wrong about that term, but I think we lack the conversation about failure. I have this thing that I coin, I mean, I think in Facebook, right? You have your Facebook profile and then description. And still to this day, I haven't changed it. It says, you win or you learn, you never lose. The only time you lose is when you don't learn from that failure because you're going to keep making that mistake over and over again. So I'm not going to say that I know what are all the right things to do, but throughout the years with experience, I know what not to do. (laughs) So that I think is a very important lesson. I encourage everybody, look at your failures and learn from it and grow from it. And I, I believe that's how you overcome it in business and in life. It's not always roses and butterflies, you know, in a perfect world. Everybody would love to have that. But I think the beauty of this journey called life is learning from experiences, learning from failures, learning from all the lessons that life have to offer. And I think overall, once you learn those things, that's when you become successful in life. You find true happiness without the journey. 
you use social media a lot. You know, you're a very successful seller. So how do you use your platform, you know, to share the wealth with other sellers? The biggest thing is sharing my story because I know there's a lot of people that have similar stories as well. I want to make them feel that it's okay to have struggles and to come from a different country. As an immigrant, that's my story. And it's a different story, but I know there's a lot of people that would resonate to them. So that's what I want to do with social media. Like, hey, like if I can do it, you can do it too. I don't sell on social media products wise and stuff like that. But I've told people like I sell the dream. I sell that it's possible. I sell that with hard work and dedication, you can achieve anything in life. And that's what eBay has helped me. eBay has been that platform that built that foundation for me to be able to share my story and at the same time be successful selling. Because making money is great, but I think the greatest thing that social media and sharing my story has gave me is the fulfillment. I believe fulfillment and being financially taken care of is a recipe for a successful life. And a successful life is not all about money. For me, it's financially been taken care of and fulfillment. So for me, I get fulfillment from sharing my story, helping other sellers succeed in this platform of e-commerce, especially in the eBay community and the eBay selling app and marketplace that I had this opportunity. You know, eBay has been great and I'm very excited for where we're heading and all the changes that we're making. And it's all for the better for the whole platform and community. Where can I follow to find out some more about you? Instagram at The Hustle Bee. That's been our main platform that we have used. I love that it's a storyboard. I'm all smiles when I get opportunities like this, when I get to share my stories. eBay, Georgia, thank you for having me here. And till next time. Definitely. There'll be a next time sooner rather than later. Thank you so much, Kent. You are just a big ball of inspiration. Thank you for this opportunity. Ken Gaetano sells on eBay under the store name Simply Be. If you miss the model of the sneakers his parents bought for him for his straight A's in school, they are the Kevin Garnett flight posit. Check out the prices on eBay. Join us for our next episode when we'll shine the spotlight on another seller with a story to tell. I'm your host, Georgia Mampanis. Jim Griffith is our editor-in-chief. The eBay Seller Spotlight Podcast is produced by Lipson and Podcast 411.